In an earlier video, we deployed an ERC20 smart contract onto the RinkB testnet using the Remix online IDE. Now, using Remix and a public testnet may have been sufficient for that simple scenario, but as your smart contracts become more complicated, it's better to use more advanced tooling. In this video, we're going to repeat that same exercise of creating and deploying an ERC20 token, but this time using Truffle and Ganache. Firstly, Truffle is a smart contract framework that makes it very easy to develop and test dApps. When you create a new project using Truffle, the project layout will look something like this. Firstly, there will be a contracts directory, which will hold your Solidity code. There will be a migrations directory, which can hold JavaScript files, which you use to deploy those smart contracts. There is also a test directory, which can hold your tests. And then finally, there's a truffle-config file, which will hold the configuration for your code. Ganache is a mock Ethereum client that basically simulates a personal blockchain running on your desktop. In the early stages of development, it's much faster to use a private blockchain like Ganache in comparison to a public testnet like Coven or Rinkby. This is because on a public testnet, you would have to wait for blocks to be mined and you might also have connectivity or network issues. By using a private blockchain, you remove a lot of these other environmental factors that might interfere with your testing and allow you to focus exclusively on the logic in your smart contracts. Before proceeding, you should first install Truffle and Ganache on your own system. Depending on what kind of computer you're having, the steps might be different, so I'm not going to cover it in this video. So I've created an empty directory that will be used for our testing. So now I'm going to go call Truffle init. This will create our Truffle directory, and then I'm going to open it with VS Code. In this new Truffle workspace, we have our contracts folder, which will hold our smart contracts. And we can see that there is already an existing migrations.sol, which is going to be used for deployment. And we're going to leave that alone. And we also have an existing JavaScript file in the migrations folder, which is going to be using that migrations.sol contract and we can also leave this alone. We have our test directory and we have our config file. So in this config file, we can configure things such as which network we want to deploy to. So first, let's get our ERC20 token contract into the contracts folder. So I'll create a new contract. Let's call this one Bob token.sol. And I'm going to paste in the ERC token contract that we created in the previous video. Next, I'm going to compile our code using Truffle compile. As you can see, it looks like we hid an error saying that ERC20.sol from OpenZeppelin was not found. So we are going to import this. So I'm going to do npm install on OpenZeppelin slash contracts. Okay, that's done. And now let's try the truffle compilation again. Okay, this time it finished. Going back to our code, we can see that Visual Studio Code has imported the open Zeppelin code for us into this node modules directory. If we go down there, we can see erc20.sol where we have the open Zeppelin implementation of the ERC20 contract. We already covered the ERC20 implementation in a different video, so we won't go into this code in this video. In the build folder, we can also see that the compilation has generated these JSON files, which contain the ABI interfaces and the bytecode for our smart contracts. Next, we have to generate a migration file for our Bob token smart contract. So in the migrations, I'm going to create another migration file. Let's call this to initial migration. In the second migration script, we're going to take bobtoken.sol and deploy that ERC20 smart contract with a total supply of 1 billion. Before we can deploy the smart contracts, we first need to get the Ganache command line interface up and running. So I'll open a new window and I'll type the command to start Ganache. And here you see Ganache has started and we have 10 available accounts with 10 private keys and each account has 100 ether. So now I'm going to deploy 
using truffle. So in this case, I will call truffle migrate. And there's an issue here in that truffle is unable to connect to Ganache on port 7545. To fix this problem, we have to go into our config in truffle. So this will be our truffle.config file. And now we have to set up our network to connect to our local Ganache. So this would be development on port 8545. Let's try the truffle migration again. Unfortunately, we've hit another issue, and this time we're saying we can't find the artifacts for Bob token from any sources. Going back to our code, here I see we are referencing Bob token. However, the smart contract is act the constructor name is Bob, so we actually have to call Bob instead of Bob token. So let's change that back to Bob. Okay, now let's try the migration again. Great, and this time we can see two initial migration.js has finished. We're deploying Bob, and there's our contract address and our account. And in the Ganache window here, we can also see the same items. Now let's interact with this using the Truffle console. Using the console, we can write JavaScript to access the contract. For example, if I, I can store the contract in this Bob variable, and now if I see what Bob is, this is our smart contract, and there are all the methods that we have. For example, because it's an ERC-20 contract, you can get the number of decimals in the contract, you can get the name of the contract, you can get the symbol of the contract. So let's try that out. For example, if I do bob.name, then I get the name of the smart contract, which is Bob. If I want to get the symbol of the smart contract, I can just do bob.symbol. To get the total supply of the ERC-20 token, I can call await and then cast it to a string. By default, when we were deploying the smart contract, Truffle used the first account that was in that list of dummy accounts in Ganache. So let's check the balance of that account. If I go up to the list of available accounts, I can grab this address here. I can check the balance of that account by using this command. And then you can see the balance is 1 billion. Please let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or thoughts, and let me know what videos you'd like to see next.